Hello crafty people, welcome back to my channel. Sorry again that I have been MIA, but I got something new to show y'all. At least it's new to me. And apparently this thing has been out for like the last nine, ten months. And I didn't know nothing about it until a couple of weeks ago. But anyway, so I got this new toy. I had to have it. I thought I had everything that I ever wanted in a craft uh device, crafty device, um, until I saw this. Um, and I got it from HSN. Hold on a minute, get it, because I got it Monday. I came to me Monday. It said it was supposed to come till tomorrow, till Friday, but it came early. So I got it to yesterday, no, Monday, and it came in the mail. So I'm going to open this up, and guys, I'm like, why haven't I seen this before? It's like, I was like, like, is, so, is somebody not, not sharing information here anymore? I mean, because I did not, I did not know nothing about it. And I, I don't even know, I forgot how I, even, how I came across it. But, it is a Rear Memory Keepers Mode Press. Look at that, guys. Okay. Um, so, I said, oh, I gotta find this. And then I saw that it was on MS, uh, HSN. And I wanted to order it from HSN. And it is, God, how much is this thing? I forgot. Um, I think it's ninety nine ninety nine. I can't remember. I I put it down in the description code once I remember. Um, I get the. But it is a memory. Uh, real memory keepers mold press, and it makes molds. Um, like uh, like molds that you would use for. Hold on. Cause I was me and my granddaughter was out here making mo uh, porn resin and we made some stuff made a mess y'all can see this right here on my thing that you can't see it but um uh yeah it's mold like this it's like supposed to be hard plastic like this but it's gonna be clear but mold's like this i've had this thing for i really know use it but anyway so i pulled out because we was going we was doing a lot of stuff the other night so but we never used it but anyway so yay like oh my god i gotta get it i gotta get it i gotta get it and i thought i had everything that i ever wanted in a craft device um till i saw this like i gotta have it so i got it and that as i pulled out some stuff that i want to mold want to try on camera because this is um as you see in the title an unboxing and review this little thingy and I forgot I gotta go get a piece to it because you're gonna have to have a vacuum or some type with it um and I, I hope it works but I have a um a um a pump an air pump what I use for my uh mattress with my my grandkids stay every weekend and uh you can use it to blow air in and suck air out so I'm going to be using that. I think I have two of them. So I forgot to bring that out here. So I'm going to stop the video in a minute and go get it. Because I forgot to bring it out here, bring it out here when I came. But yeah, um, you're going to need a vacuum or something. And they sell vacuums specifically for this. Um, but you don't have to use that. You can buy a vacuum. I mean, you can just use your vacuum that you have. So yeah. So this is what it is. I'm gonna take all this off and I have to put it together because it's two pieces. Mm, look at that. This is the bottom part, I believe. No, this is the top part. This is the part that heats up. This is the part that's gonna heat up. I'm gonna be melting the uh, plastic. This is comes it's in two parts. It's magnetized. And then it sticks to this. It holds it. It sticks to that. Hold your thing. Y'all see when I put it together. Okay. All right. So I watched videos on it, and I think I remember how it was done. This is where you uh, connect your um, vacuum to it, because um, you're gonna need that suction to actually do the mold. And this come with two parts. I'm gonna these in here until they click oh, or does it matter yeah I guess it is okay. and then I'm gonna take there's some strong magnet 
um, let's take it out there. And now we, this is what goes on top. And, okay, this is the power button right here, and it lights up when you push it. This right here, and this is your uh, cord. I wonder if I can put this. Yeah, I want all this on the same size, so I'm gonna put it this way because the um this could be like the back of it. So I want the uh, plug on this side and the vacuum connection on this side. I don't think it matters, but just in case. So it's like that. So that's how it goes. I might have to also change my camera angle. I have to take my camera down and put it on tripod just so y'all can see it. But then y'all see my messy craft room. Um, where it looks messy. So these, I think these are the pieces that come with it. And I ordered some more extra pieces. But this is the plastic that comes with it. And this. I'm going to have to open this up. I'm not using these little scissors, I guess, because they're already out. Okay, and so this goes right here. So you have to slide it in like this, and it this is uh, stays stuck to the side. And you take it down, you slide it down. Like this. So, I think you can go from either side. Yeah, you can, cause there was some our uh, video and they were saying, well, you gotta go in the back. Like, I, yeah, so I, I think you can go on either side, so you can. So you can go through either side, cause see these little parts right here. And you slide it in like that and it magnetized holds us up here and this is yeah but you all see um so i watched some videos on it yeah so this is the um i think you know color piece but this is the hard plastic it, and it's come with two the it's filmed on each side you have to peel that off first but this is how big they come and i ordered some more sheets and it came in a separate box bigger than the one that this box comes so i'm gonna go ahead and open that See why it came in this big freaking box. Not chill. So let me open this real quick. Um, because I understand why it came in a separate box because it was two separate things. But this box is bigger than the box that that, that came in. And I ordered two packs of it. Uh, oh, because then they in smaller boxes. Okay. More boxes. Okay. So it's that. I'm just gonna open up one of these because I forgot how many came in one thing. But anyway, what I was saying guys is that I pulled up some stuff that I wanted to mold and I was thinking like, okay, this is not as I didn't think I had, I thought I had more stuff that I wanted to mold, but I guess not. Well, I'll find something to mold. I like the little box, so. Um, there's six in each pack. I get 12. And I ordered two packs. Two packs. I mean, uh, two, so. <sighs> So I have 24 more sheets. So these are the sheets. I ordered a 12 pack, but I guess they didn't have it, so they just sent me two six packs. So I'll order 20, two more packs. Again, I'll put all this information down below in the um the link to this on uh, HSN where I got it, uh, where I ordered it. And let's see. Okay, yeah, here's the seat. Oh, I can't see. Do, 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 do. Okay, so D D D D D D D Yeah, twelve count. Okay, yeah, they were uh Twelve dollars and something, so it's not bad. It's like twelve a dollar something a sheet for 
the uh, pieces of plastic. And then for this, this was $79.95. It was $79.95. Um, and it was uh, shipping and tax uh, with it. Um, cause I mean, I, I saw it and it was like, um, it was sixty nine ninety nine, and then I see I went to uh own place I was at as I saw where I could do flex play, was um was on a uh, MSN I mean HSN so I don't want to pay for it. I could have paid it off at once but I didn't want to. Let's put this back on here. So I just did. I just went, got an HSN for for flex play. I've seen other places it was like ninety nine. It was higher, like ninety nine nine, like a hundred bucks. But yeah, this is seventy nine ninety nine. That's seventy nine ninety five. Uh, uh, when I seen the um, when I saw this, uh, somewhere else it was sixty nine. Well, no, when they were selling it, it was sixty nine ninety nine at the time. And like I said, this was like ten, eleven months ago. And I'm like, why have this? Why is this? I mean, this is literally the first that when I saw it, right? I ordered it. I like, this was literally the first time I ever saw it. It's like, okay, where have I been? Okay, so what happens is, is this part right here, you plug it up and this heats up. You put the, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a demonstration right now because I really don't feel like um, going back in the house to get the my little vacuum thingy. But anyway. I'm not gonna take the plastic off. You take this film on both sides of this, and it's like little. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My little caller tell me some stupid joke. No, <laughs> oh, it was funny, but um, yeah. So, <laughs> um. I'm sorry. I normally put my phone on. Try to remember to put my phone on mute so I won't. I wouldn't have to get interrupted. <laughs> but <laughs> and I forgot to tell him I was filming before I come out here. He wouldn't have called if he knew I was filming. But anyway, um, it's film on both sides of this plastic. You have to peel that off first, and you put it in. You know, in these little. Uh, things right here. And hold them in, right? It hold the plastic in with these little things all the way around, and then these two stick together, magnets. To hold that in there, and then you slide this in here, magnet side up to, to connect to this. You slide this in here. This heats up. It heats it. It melts the plastic. And from what I understand, you'll know when it uh, when it's time to drop it down. Uh, because the the plastic in there start to to start to droop down there, they say let it droop, for, it start to droop for, like from an inch or something like that. Once it starts to droop, you pull it down, and once you bring it down like this, the vacuum will uh, suck the plastic around whatever you got in here. You get the oh yeah. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a, I'm just gonna do something. I'm gonna do it. I guess it's not gonna be reviewed, but anyway, um, you put your your devices in here. Your pieces that you want to mold in here on type of this like that you put them in there you set them on there these are different pieces you want to mold and then you drop it down and then the vacuum sucks the air out of the plastic you know uh vacuuming it around the objects that you want to mold you hold it there you let it go for how many seconds i haven't read the instructions yet um, and when I was watching the videos, they didn't say how long to do it. They just held it there for like probably a good minute or so. And then turn it off and then you pull it out and then you have a mold or whatever you got in there. So, um, I'm going to go back in the house. I guess I'll go ahead and do it, uh, do the, um, do a demonstration of Cause I really want to try this baby out. Um, let's play with my new toy cause I can make my own molds. So yeah, so let me pause the video again. I'm gonna go and get my my little thing I'm a jigger that I'm gonna need to use to uh, connect the vacuum thing to the thing. This is a an adapter. If you if your um 
vacuum doesn't fit to it, doesn't, you know, isn't, but if you put this on there and you put your piece in there and it'll hold in there. They say it works really well, so if you got this, this little adapter or whatever to uh, connect your, your hose to your uh, vacuum in there. But yeah, so let me go uh, go get some the other the rest of the tools to do this. I don't know why I wasn't thinking about this, all this. But I'll be right back and um, we'll make some molds. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I got my lighter on, so I don't know if it's better or worse. Uh, I guess I'll see after I play back the video. But um, so I got everything hooked up. I don't. I got my vacuum here, and it's gonna be kind of loud. So I don't know how it's gonna work. As, as to um, see how good the suction is on it. I'm gonna take this back off. Ugh. It's not hard to come off, guys. It's just I'm just struggling with it. And I'm not grabbing at the right points. So I'm gonna pull this off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on too. I'm gonna turn it on, and when you turn it on. A light comes on over here. See the little light? It's on. It's, it's glowing. I don't know if you can see it. But, uh, let's see. Let me zoom in. Well, I guess that's good. So I'm going to peel the film off. Like I said, it's one on both sides. I just had to run the instructions. I was, uh, I watched videos. And, um, and other people are not re <laughs> reading the instructions. <laughs> Oh, it's two of them in there. Okay, so wait. How many things stuck together? Make sure it's in. See, it's pretty thick. So that was two of them. But it should be. Film on the other side. Gotta make sure there's not film on the other side. It don't look like it is. But I still need to check to be on the safe side oh and it does say it will smoke it will smoke you'll get some smoke from it yeah yeah there's one on this side yeah so yeah and I wanted to put this in there oh wrong one I can already smell it nice heating up so put those in there Make sure those that they're inside the little grooves. And we're going to put this down like so. And then we're going to, I'm going to turn this around. No, I'll leave it this way because my, my connection is right here. Let me see if this is working better. Nope. I'm going to have to use my adapter because I got this funny little, this funny connection right here. And so it's a, uh, crazy. I might have to get something else. The, um, the, I, I, I can't remember how much the vacuum was. I think it was like a hundred bucks. It was like, a, and it was the same color as this and everything. It was a vacuum that you hook up to this. It looked like it was heavy. So, um, if I get, if I need to get something else, I'm going to get something smaller, but I'm not getting that. I'm just going to go to Walmart or somewhere and get it. So, yeah. So, now this is in here. The film is in there. And we're going to slide this in. Wait a minute. Let's take it in and slide it up like that and we're gonna watch it and we're gonna look down here and we're gonna start drooping so while it's doing that I'm gonna mold these pieces so put this down here on this end and I'm gonna lay some stuff in there I got a few keys I'm gonna mold I don't know how it's gonna work but we will see let's see Let's try smaller ones, smaller pieces. Um, I got a cross, an arrow, a little that. Let's try that key. Let's see if this all fit in there. And I see it's starting to droop. It's heating up in there. I'll measure this. I forgot how big it says the area was, what you can put down in here. 
I'm putting that number of things in here. Okay, so it's starting to droop. I'm gonna wait a little while. Okay, now I'm I gotta I'm gonna wait this I think they said to wait ten minutes or something like that. I don't know. Let me read the instructions real quick. Oh, where'd it go? Um but yeah, uh It's the instructions in English. So I know how to put it together. That's the little vacuum that you can get to come with it. I think it was like $199.99. Something like that. I can't remember. This is in French. But... Let's get to the English version. Oh, that's English. Where's the English instruction? Oh, here we go. First page. Okay, turn to me. All right, so this is everything. That's the hose adapter. Like I said, that is a picture of the little vacuum that you can get with it. Right there. You can buy it. It's the same color as this and everything. Um, I can't remember how much that was, but they do have it. But you, like I said, if you can have a vacuum of some type, then you can use that. You don't necessarily need that. Uh, I guess if you got like a craft room like I do and um, or a craft space, craft building and um, you don't uh, want to be hauling one together from in the house outside then yeah that's a good idea okay so it's drooping I'm going to turn on this is going to be loud uh, I'm just going to see if I can turn it down but hold on so I'm going to start this. This is hot under here. This is still smoking. They said no one's supposed to do that. I'm not getting very good stuff in it, dude. Okay. So I've turned it off. I'm going to pull this out. And I don't think I did good. This is not good. A good suction. Not a good suction on this at all. So, guys, um, I'm going to wait till I. Uh, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to wait till I get another um, device. Um, so, I'm going to kind of vacuum. I have to go and buy one that has better suction on it. And I'll use that. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess up another piece of plastic uh doing this. So yeah, so you can see it didn't really you can see it's indented, but it didn't really mold anything because it wasn't good suction. Either that or I didn't let it melt enough. But I'm gonna try to use this piece again because it's not really really do that much, you know, the indention in it. But I got some things I wanna mold. So but yeah guys. Um, from what I did see on the other unboxing and uh, reviews and demonstrations and everything, it worked really well. Um, I just think that my little vacuum here isn't very good at sucking anything out. This I put on here to suck something out and I put it, I take it off and I put it on here. 
uh, this end and it blows something in. So take it, put it on here to suck, you know, to take air out. Put it on here to put air in. Um, but I don't think it's got good suction on this thing. So I'm going to have to wait till I get something that uh, got good suction on it. Um, because this, it wasn't sucking very well at all. So I'm going to attempt to use this piece again. See if I can remelt it and do it again because I don't want to waste that because it really didn't do anything. But yeah, I'm still anxious to use this, so I'm not going to give it a fail right now. It's just, I'm thinking it's just my devices that I'm using. Uh, but thanks guys for watching and um, hopefully when I come back, um, I will be able to show you some things that I've molded with this puppy. Like I said, this gets hot up here and it smokes. This up here smokes it, smokes up, and they said it does that. It's, that's normal for that to happen. So um, um, it's not a malfunction if it uh, uh if you get one and it smokes. This part of here is what gets hot. You're not supposed to touch that because it's hot right there. You don't want to be touching that. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna like this thing once I can get the right um vacuum to go with this. I can get enough suction to mold some stuff, and then I'm gonna be on the road. But again, thanks guys for watching. And again, this is the We Are Memory Keepers Mode Press. See that little logo right there? And um, I am anxious to play with this. Got a new toy. Oh, and guys, I love it because it matches my craft room. It's almost the same color as my craft room. Oh. Uh, I'm going to try to answer that. See, yeah, let me hold it up. Yeah, it almost matches my craft room. This is almost the color of my craft room walls. Isn't that cute? Isn't that pretty? I like it. Okay. All right, guys. So thanks for watching, and y'all have a crafty day. Bye.